Well, hello there, Tom Green coming back at you with some CC 2014 goodness. And today's goodness involves a brand new feature in Edge Animate, which is video. And this is huge. If you have been following any of my tutorials here at YouTube, you'll notice that the video one sort of involved what is regarded by many as being code judo. And I got a couple of comments on it saying, boy, this is really hard to do. I agree. Not anymore. So let's take a look at how easy it is to add video to an animate composition. So I've got a file open here. I've got a background image and I'm going to use this little black box here to hold the video. And to bring video in, all you have to do is twirl down your library, click this little plus sign beside the add video area, and I'm going to come to my project panel and there are the MP4 and WebM versions of the file. You need to create uh, the MP4 and WebM versions because this is HTML5 and MP4 works in a number of browsers and WebM basically works in Firefox. You're going to need the two of them, so you're going to have to prepare them and have them ready to go. So I just click open and in they come. Now I'm going to get a warning about working with WebM, no big deal because uh, the browser that's used here anyway is Chrome, so I don't have to worry about it. But if I'm going to take a look at it in Firefox, it's nice to know that I can use the WebM. Click OK. And to bring your video into your presentation, all you have to do is just grab this Hong Kong object here, bring it onto the stage, and let go. And it drops into place, and I'm just going to put it in the box there. And that's pretty well it. Now, a couple of things you need to know. Uh, first off, as soon as you have the video on the stage, you'll notice you get the following properties. You can create a poster image if it's going to take a while to load. You can adjust the volume of the uh, audio inside the video right here. You can autoplay. Not recommended if, if you have audio. You can loop this thing, uh, loop short ones, but not big ones. And of course you can add controls. So it's just what I'm going to do right there. And it adds the controls to the video. So how does all this look? Well, let's take a look. I'm going to press command return or control enter and we'll preview this in the browser. And you can see there's the video, there's the background. And if I click the play button, We have video. Okay, I'm going to kick out of uh, Chrome and come back to animate. A couple other things I want you to be aware of. Uh, the first thing is, is, if you want to put this whole thing into a responsive situation, then center the stage. I'm going to center it horizontally, and I'm going to re apply responsive scaling, and I'm going to apply it to both axes. So when I bring the browser window in or out, everything shrinks in proportion. The other thing I want you to pay attention to is where the code is for the videos. So if I open up uh, Edge Code, you'll see that the file is actually in the edge.js file. And you can make your changes in here. Notice there are the dimensions of the video there. So if you want to change the controls out or you want to do something else, add another property, you can do that right in here in the JS. You can't do it in the HTML. Okay, I'm going to come back to animate. And now let's see how this works with a centered stage and responsive scaling applied. So I'm going to press command return. And there it is in the center. And notice, life just became a wonderful thing when it comes to working with video in Animate. So there you go. Adding video to Animate, you need to have at least the MP4 and WebM versions of it, though it wouldn't hurt to have the AUGV just in case uh, the, the Opera browsers can't handle it. And I showed you how to not only add it to the stage, but how to work with the properties. And I also showed you where the code is if you need to play with it. The other thing I did show you was how to use the center stage and responsive scaling. So that way, if you want to move this into a variety of situations and have it in a responsive uh, environment, it's good to go. So there you go. Have some fun with it. It's easier than you ever thought.